the feeling on the summit was so weird because I imagined that I would like get to the top, I'd punch the air, there would be this great crescendo of music, I'd have like a helicopter shot filming around me and stuff. But the reality was I just like fell to my knees and just the feeling was this tidal wave of relief. Like all that worry for two years, like will I make it? And you know, looking up at the summit from base camp and thinking, I'll be the luckiest person in the world if I ever stand up there. And to actually be there, it was just like this just relief and just disbelief. And um, I remember thinking that there's no time to celebrate as well. We've got to get back down now. So it was mixed emotions, really. Well, on reaching the summit, I had already on um, two successive years got uh, to within 300 metres in height of the summit. So it was extremely good on the third attempt doing the extra 300 metres. The only problem was that the camera which was meant to record this for the charity that we were working for uh, did not work um, because there wasn't enough light when we got to the summit. So I told the Sherpa we must wait um, to get the camera working for the summit shot. And he said, no, no, um, must not linger up here. It's bad for the reputation of the Sherpa if their tourist dies. So they want to get you down as quickly as possibly and uh, we had to wait for three hours. We got very, very cold indeed until the camera um, eventually uh, froze and didn't work and some other bloke came up and took the photo. My first scent of Everest is a long time ago now, uh, 2004. I was going up with um, Pema Norbert. Uh, he's dead now, unfortunately. He died in a huge avalanche near the Annapurnas a few years later. And I was the first of the, or we were the first of the year to get up there. And he was so nice. What he did, he, he had something to do over his previously. And he just, he held back just a little bit. And the last 20, 30, 40 yards, I was on my own. I remember turning around, he wasn't there. You know, it, it, there he is, you know, on your shoulder the whole time. And he wasn't there. And for a few brief moments, I had to sum it to myself. And how do you put something like that, something which is so emotionally overwhelming, so sublime, the whole of the planet, the whole of the planet beneath your feet.